So hi there and welcome. This is the sale video for my 1994 Saab 900 turbo convertible. So this is a uh, 1994 model year, actually manuf manufactured in 1993. It's done 111,000 miles. I've owned it for two years and there's an extensive amount of maintenance and preventative maintenance that's been done to it. So if I just walk you around the car and tell you a little bit, a little bit about its history. I've owned this car now for two years. I bought it uh, here in uh, Los Angeles, we're actually in Malibu at the moment, but I bought it here in Los Angeles um, from the lead guitarist of an indie band called Real Estate. Um, and in that time, in the two years I've owned it, I've done around 15,000 miles. Um, the car has spent its entire life in California. It was originally sold new in the uh, San Francisco area and then spent something in the region of 21 of its 25 years uh, in the Bay Area, around San Francisco, as well as some towns sort of very close to there, coming to Los Angeles a few years ago. I believe I'm the fifth owner of the vehicle, and in my time of ownership, I've used it primarily as a, as a daily driver to commute to work. I've got a relatively short commute to work along the Pacific Coast Highway here, and it's been absolutely perfect. Roof down, driving along by the sea, as you can see, just a wonderful experience and a really great usable classic car. The work that I've had done to it in my time of ownership has almost all been done by a Saab specialist in Venice in Los Angeles who maintain many classic Saabs. The work includes, well, most importantly, new hydraulic piston tops or pistons for the uh, convertible top, which is a really important thing to have done on your 900 convertible turbo, as well as oil changes. Um, it's also had a new rear axle, it's had a new battery, new alternator, um, new transmission cups, new brakes, so pads and rotors all round uh, within the last year. Also new tyres, uh, as well as fitting these 16-inch Saab Super Aero wheels, which really set it off for me. They're not aftermarket, they're original OEM wheels. Um, I bought them used from the Saab forum. And oh, it's also had new spark plugs, so four new spark plugs. And a new distributor cap and rotor, um, new wheel bearings. It's basically had a lot of work done to it to make it a usable daily driver. Um, and like I said, I've done 15,000 miles in two years in this car. So I bought it at 96,000 miles and it's now done 111. And in that time, it's never once let me down. I've used it on an almost daily basis. Perfect for cruising around Los Angeles, cruising around Southern California, taking it up the coast. Um, and yeah, the time to sell now though, because new job, I uh, need to move house, and I just don't need it. Um, my new job, I can cycle to work. So that's why I'm gonna get rid of it and just try going without a car for some time. So if we now just talk about some of the negatives of the car, because this is a 25 year old Saab, there's gonna be some things you may have seen on the video already. I'd say mechanically, this car is in very good condition, but from a sort of cosmetic standpoint, it's got the kind of usual wear and blemishes you'd associate with a 25 year old car. So if we start at the front on the exterior, you can see here on the front corner bumper, a few little marks, got a little bit of uh, stone chipping on the hood, a little bit of paint lost there, and the kind of, just the stone chipping you'd expect from a car that's done 100, 111,000 miles. A oh, bit of, bit of done. Um, and then also a tiny bit of rust here on the front wheel arch. Got it moving around. Body side is pretty good. There's a little ding here and there, but again, nothing you wouldn't expect. And then on the rear, we've got a bit of fading on the rear bumper. And if we look down the body side there, you can see it's pretty blemish free. Like the only ding, I think, from what I remember, it's a little ding on the front corner here. Um, and then when it comes to the interior, um, it's got sort of a bit, of, bit more wear and tear here. You can see the front driver's seat and passenger seat have got some tears in them. There is a crack in the IP, which is very common on these uh, vehicles, as I'm sure you're aware, and also a little tear in the rear. But fundamentally, for a 25-year-old car that's done 111,000 miles, I think it's in great condition. And I also think it makes an extremely usable daily classic um, that you can lightly restore back to concourse condition, or you can just use like I did and enjoy for its sort of top-down Swedish motoring experience which has been like I said absolutely flawless for me. The wheels themselves are you know used but definitely in good condition. One or two few little marks that you can see you know here and on the front one here 
just a tiny little scratch on the wheel there. The tires, like I said, were done within the last year. So they've got probably about 7,000 miles on them, but there's still a hell of a lot of tread on there. And there's still a lot of them. And they're good quality Toyos as well. So, you know, we're not talking about knockoff, remold or anything like that. Everything I've done with the car has been, oh, here's a, oh, a paint, paint blemish as well. But everything I've done with the car has just been done to make it very usable and very enjoyable for summertime and warm weather and cruising with friends. It's been a great, great vehicle. So I'm just going to show you in a moment the um, tonneau covers that fit onto the back, the original tonneau covers, and then we'll start it up and take it for a drive. One of the things I also forgot to mention was, as you can see on the ground in front of the car, is the original carry bag for the uh, sort of covers that go over the back of the tonneau there. So within there, the three pieces you can see in the photos attached, and they fit onto the back and fit within the uh, hood area, so you can make this a kind of permanent convertible, which is a really lovely feature. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about the interior. Um, as you can see, uh, this car is a uh, five-speed manual version. Uh, it makes it a great driver's car, so I'll just get it. You can see here it's done 111,000 miles. Uh, probably took over to 112,000 by the time uh, the time we sell it. And um, it's got fitted with it an aftermarket head unit. The uh, the original head unit will also come with a, with a sail. It's a tape deck, original pure 90 spec, but I believe the previous owner put this uh, head unit in. And it's got an aux outlet, as you can see, so it's great for your Spotify or plugging your phone in. Um, also here, you can see the uh, classic Saab central ignition. Um, you know, center console is in pretty good condition. Got, like I mentioned earlier, the passenger seat is a little bit torn, but again, nothing outrageous for a 25-year-old car. I'm just going to go ahead and start it up now. All the uh, dials and so on work, as you can see. So ignition, oh, the signal turn indicator. Okay, just turn that off. So you can see here, all the warning lights go out. We've got the park brake warning light will go out as well. The only remaining one is the SRS. Uh, that kind of comes and goes. Um, I've had it looked at, and the specialist who looked at it, the, the Venice Saab specialist, they uh, they said it's nothing to worry about. It's something to do with the age of the vehicle. Oh, just, uh, just spotted a whale over there. Um, <laughs> yeah, something to do with the age of the vehicle. Um, like I said, this car's been pretty pretty well maintained from a mechanical point of view, and I've used it as a daily for a couple of years, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, it's just something that goes with the age of the vehicle. Now, if we give it a little, uh, little um, rev, you can see here, it just revs up nicely. Turbo spools up, you can see the gauge on the top right spools up. Um, sounds pretty good, sounds pretty smooth. It's been regularly maintained, like, my, like I said, the had oil changes and done, so it just sounds and performs as I'd expect this two litre inline sort of turbo to do. Um, what we've got also here, you just look around on the interior, you can see back seats and everything. As I mentioned, the covers will come with this vehicle as well, so it will, you can put the uh, tonneau cover on. It's got the usual kind of Saab head, like head uh, cant rail kind of metal condition, the metal condition here, tiny bit of wear you can see on the corner, but you'd expect that again from the roof latching all the time. And we're going to take it out for a little drive. So join me in a second, and my assistant will uh, be filming whilst I'm driving. You can see how it runs. Okay, so um, you can see we're driving along now. Roof down, lovely kind of California feeling. Uh, we're here at uh, Zuma Beach in uh, Malibu. Um, so just some other things to talk about whilst we're driving along. Um, this car, just driving this car, so basically has everything working. Side. Uh, one of the things that I had done also was I had a new uh, turn indicator stalk installed. It's a very common problem on these old 900s for the uh, turn, in the turn indicator stalk to break and to not let you like make any turn signals. So I had that installed. It was a used part, but it was installed by the same specialist in Venice. Um, we're going to just take a little drive along here, along this little side road, and then we'll go out onto the main road as well to show you that it can drive at speed and uh, drive correctly as you'd expect this kind of vehicle to do. Uh, just slowing down for these people here. Um, I've never tried the heated seats, I assume they work, but you know, living here we never would use them. Um, the lights obviously will work, the light controls are out here. Uh, the wipers um, obviously will work as well, different variable speeds and, and so on. Just turn that down a little bit. And then um, also show you how the heater works. Uh, so we've got the heater controls here. 
as you can probably hear that's spooling up nicely so you've got nice warm and cold air um, the air conditioning works i believe as well but i normally drive with the roof down I'm just going to carefully negotiate these people here um, we've got the uh, hazard warning lights they're all working as well if you just zoom in here you can see the green flashing things there hopefully uh, yeah let's turn that off don't know drive along that on um, yeah and if i just turn the uh, stereo on see if there's anything nothing tuned in but you can hear that the static's working so it obviously works just turn that off a second okay so i'm just going to take a little drive along here and uh, just let you hear how it runs there's some nice cars along here okay so now we're driving at speed along the uh along the pacific coast highway uh, we're doing uh, about 40 miles an hour 50 miles an hour and you can see drive nicely drives as you'd expect any of these sort of vehicles to do quite loud obviously because we've got all the uh, windows down, we'll just put them up. Windows will work obviously. Um, I'm going to do the other ones. And then, um, yeah, and then, yeah, a bit quieter now. So just driving along, you can see if I uh, just look around me a second. Take my hands off the wheel, you can see tracks straight and true. Got the wheel alignment done last year when I uh, had the new tyres put on it. Um, and to get it done again before sale and um, yeah so it cruises along very nicely okay so uh, something else uh, I forgot to mention earlier on uh, the car was smogged around six months ago so I believe it's another 18 months before it needs to be smogged if you're going to keep it in California of course um, and it's got its uh, uh, fees and taxes paid uh, for another six months so it's uh, the registration is paid until the end of July or end of August so another six months or so on that as well which is good um, so it's completely usable to drive away today and you can just use it like a normal car in that time okay so we've just uh, pulled up um, and the handbrake's on and we're just going to show you how the roof works show you the roof works so you've got to have the handbrake on to uh, to, um, to put the roof up or down so take the roof down just pull these uh, clamps up here and then there's a, in the center console here there's a roof down switch you can hear it going back um, like I said we had the roof done uh, a couple of years ago when we first got the car had a um, new hydraulic uh, struts put in it's a very common problem on these Saabs and like many old convertibles um, the roof's got no tears or rips in it doesn't leak whatsoever um, don't really take this car out in the rain very much as it is but it doesn't leak whatsoever um, yeah, no rips or tears, it's in very good condition. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just start off, uh, pull away, show what it's like pulling away, uh, running through the gears as we accelerate up to uh, speed here, uh, just looking for a safe moment to pull away. So, yeah, now we're pulling away again first. Just revving it deliberately high just to show you that the car can do it. Revs up to four and a half, five thousand revs. Down third, fourth, and then fifth. And it just cruises along very nicely, very smoothly. Just runs, just runs very well. Um, like I said, never had any mechanical problems with it driven it many times up and down this road all over Southern California it's been great so um, yeah thanks for watching um, the auction link should be below um, sad to see it go but you know times change and hopefully the next owner can enjoy it as much as as we have and can continue giving it life it's it's a car that's been uh, well looked after for many years and it's been all its life in Southern California so it's had a very uh, American Saab experience. So like I said, thanks for watching and uh, any questions just let me know. Thanks.